Taste of the Town on CBS News Miami is sponsored by Goya. If it's Goya, it has to be good. Visit Goya.com today. Okay, it's time for 2024's first all-new Taste of the Town. And we are bringing you the first of what will be many of our iconic spots, restaurants with deep South Florida roofs. You know, this is one of the beloved South Florida institutions serving great food, drink, and fun for decades. It's definitely a go-to. <laughs> it was family-run then and family-run now. Bring your appetite because CBS News Miami's Lisa Petrillo is taking, taking us to a loggerhead, Miami-Dade's first Flanagan's. Meet Patrick, Michael, and Jimmy, the three brothers of the large Flanagan family, the name behind the renowned South Florida restaurant brand that originated in 1959 first as a liquor store. Founded by the late Joe Flanagan, affectionately known as Big Daddy, the family legacy continues with lookalike son Michael leading us on an exclusive tour. Everybody called him Big Daddy. I don't care if you were older than him, younger than him. He was he was bigger than life. He was, I mean, it's hard to describe people like that, but when he walked into a room, I don't care if there was presidents in there, everybody came to him. Everybody was drawn to him. Jimmy, Michael, Patrick, and that's Dad, that's Big Joe. That is so cool. In the mid-80s, Big Daddy transformed Flanagan's from liquor stores and lounges into a family-run restaurant now with 24 locations. Today, we're in the Flanagan Museum Room, adjacent to the bustling Flanagan's Loggerhead Restaurant in Coconut Grove, the first in Miami and the busiest. Or the Loggerhead is the most incredible place. It does 600,000 covers a year. If you know Joe Stone Crab, they do 450. So the place just goes all out till five in the morning. Throughout every Flanagan's, walls adorned with pictures from the family's legendary fishing trips tell the story of Big Daddy's vision for a community-centered restaurant. Affordable pricing and creating a comfortable space for everyone were at the forefront. That was always the most important thing to us, is that my dad always wanted butts and seats, so he priced it that way. Going back briefly to the old days, 38 cent cocktail is what put everybody in the bars. And then here, we did a $4.99 lunch. So began the meal deals here at the restaurant that Flanagan's are famous for, and all the perks, like the legendary free green cups if you buy any soda or drink. I've been approached by people who tell me about the problems they have with their wives because they have over 200 of these in their truck. And the fully loaded nachos. We get Mexican Monday, we get this free order of nachos with your first pitcher of beer. Free. And free. Completely free, and it can feed four people hungry people. I mean, nachos and beer. I'm happy. Way to go. On Wing It Wednesdays, you get 10 free crispy chicken wings when you buy a pitcher of beer, a Flanagan the girl's favorite. I love those wings. Tender, juicy, crispy, little bit of a kick. Perfection in a win. And finally, a true Flanagan's favorite, a full rack of Danish baby back ribs served here with curly fries. Michael reveals the secret, honey in the sauce. These are classic and why the longevity of this restaurant <laughs> stands where it is today. Back to my wings, but tell everybody how many days you're open. We're open seven days a week, 365 days a year. Till what time? We open 11 a.m. and close at 5 a.m. here. 5 a.m. It's an all-day, all-nighter here at Flanagan's in Coconut Grove. It's Taste of the Town. I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS News, Miami. Yeah, with its deep South Florida roots, chances are there is a Flanagan in or near your neighborhood. The Flan Flanagan's that Lisa was at there is in the Coconut Grove on Bird Avenue. You have been telling me about these Flanagan's I'm, ribs ever I'm telling since you, I they're, came they're, here. They're, okay, so I, I pride myself on making really good ribs because uh -huh. I do my own barbecue sauce. These ribs are fantastic. They're, I, I, they're better than mine. I got to get to Flanagan's. They're, you got to, to get there.